What's the real-time engine? In factual terms, it is a piece of software, but it's so much more than that. Unity's real-time 3D is an environment built to build video games, but these other industries are getting on board. In the construction field, we use it to better understand what are we building and why. Solving challenges before they even become challenges. I think the real story is the gaming industry is approaching a $200 billion industry. Construction, on the other hand, construction is a $10 trillion industry. You do the math on that, yeah. You know, what we're doing with the real-time engine is pretty groundbreaking. My name is Najee Rujeli. I'm a creative director here at Skanska. Well, what's Skanska? It started as the Swedish concrete firm back in the late 1800s. Now, we build a, a slightly larger uh, structures. If you go back to the 1800s till now, we've built a significant part of the modern world. My name is Adam Chernick, and I'm the director of interactive visualization at Shop Architects in New York City. At Shop, we design ambitious, large projects. This is the Nine to Kolb Tower here. If you imagined a thousand of these stacked on top of each other, that's how tall. Back in 1913, the Woolworth Building was the first Gothic skyscraper. It used the newest technology at hand in the time. It was the tallest building in the world for 17 years. Having our office here is really kind of sharing that mentality and that ethos of pushing the limits of the time and figuring out how to create something that nobody else has created. Most of the world around us was pitched, designed, created using paper and pencil. Paper and pencil. Pre-computer, it would take me a month to create one render to give to a client. But there was a point in time where there was a huge shift into the digital age. Now we can draw these lines way quicker and we can delete lines. We don't have to use that eraser anymore. But it's still 2D. And each drawing has hundreds of call-out notes that reference other drawings within this drawing set. How the concrete meets the glass meets the steel. Oh, that section cut detail, that's on A204. You jump to A204. That references a call-out on A401. And you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to try and understand how to actually build one small detail. Well, not anymore. Using the real-time engine. It's so much more powerful than our static renders. It is an environment that is live, no render times. Our team could make changes and updates to the site, the project, to the model instantaneously. Real-time 3D has the potential to change the entire life cycle of a project. Everything and then some. Number one, you have to design the aesthetics of the building, the architecture. It's interactive. Select your wood grain if you want oak versus cherry. Add lighting and actually see how far into this space the natural light gets so that we can start to feel the comfort of the people that will one day experience that building. Next, we have the engineering, how it will be built. Foundations, structure, interior build out, different systems, mechanical, electrical, plumbing. When you see something in scale in the real-time engine, it affects your decision-making. You think about logistics, mobilization, you think about safety differently. Third, you have construction, the actual excavation and the erection of the building itself. With on-site construction augmented reality, we can actually overlay the entire building in front of the developer. It gives us an opportunity to solve problems before they arise and to give our clients what they want. Fourth is marketing. A lot of times you're building condominiums, office space above, the retail space below. You need to market, you need to sell, you need to get tenants inside of your building. Well, we have this virtual dynamic real-time environment now that this potential client can go and walk through to sell the space. And finally, the maintenance, maintaining the day-to-day -day of the building and all of its systems. We're able to do photogrammetry of the infrastructure behind these walls before the drywall goes up. So we can be minimally invasive when we need to inevitably go fix that pipe. The use cases are endless. If we allocated enough resources to this, we could change a $10 trillion industry. We can change how buildings are built. 
Without unity, all this wouldn't be possible. Let's just let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm.